Hi, and welcome to my little experiment using Parallax Distortion, the manual controls and the camera Lucida app. Here's a little experiment that I like to do from time to time using or perhaps misusing the manual parallax controls with camera Lucida um, by purposely distorting the image so that either the bottom or the top is out of proportion by using the slider controls for manual parallax you can come up with some very interesting effects um, so the original picture that I'm painting here was completely straight um, no parallax distortion or anything like that what I did was I used the slider controls to totally distort uh, the base and the top of the building I distorted it so much that the whole picture is now out of parallax you can see me with the pen and ink on the left hand side doing the picture um, and it's on a time lapse um, it, looks actually fairly square the picture but in reality it's not and it's actually quite hard to draw this way because you have to um, use your pen and ink uh, but instead of using it in a sort of parallel way by actually drawing you're actually having to draw um, to the distortion it sounds complicated but it's actually not once you've distorted your camera lucida picture using the manual controls as you would normally do to set up camera lucida to get it completely parallel uh, in other words your drawing surface with say the ipad we're actually going to use those same controls to put the image completely out of parallax so we end up with a an image that is either very wide at the top and very narrow at the bottom or very narrow at the bottom and very wide at the top so the parallax has been completely distorted Anyway, um, you'll see from the time lapse and the picture on the right is the finished picture, how distorted it actually was. OK, so you can see that the picture on the left looks pretty square. The only thing you notice at the moment is the top looks completely out of focus and the bottom doesn't. In reality, the picture on the right shows what I actually saw as I was painting the painting. So you can see that the actual picture is painted completely out of distortion. When Camera Lucida captures you painting, it's capturing the image um, as if it was square. But the actual painting that you're painting on your surface looks exactly like the painting on the right hand side. This is quite difficult to do but you end up with some fantastic effects. So you can either distort it like this with the top being very, very narrow and the top being mass and the bottom being massive or the other way around. Uh, you can see, for example, the door at the bottom is huge. It's probably taking up nearly three quarters of the painting. In reality, the picture, the door only took up about a third at the most of the painting. So everything is actually distorted. It's a great uh, technique and uh, I, I enjoy doing it just to do something a little bit wacky and a little bit different. So if you've got Camera Lucida, uh, rather than pre-distort your image before loading it, why don't you try using the parallax controls in manual mode and distort your painting and give it a go. You can come up with some really great effects. If you like any of my techniques and videos um, on all sorts of subjects, then please consider liking the video and perhaps subscribing to my channel where I look at a multitude of things, everything from letterpress printing techniques through Camera Lucida, painting and drawing, photography, video and other IT related subjects. So anyway, thanks ever so much for watching. And I hope you get something out of this. It's a little technique that I use from time to time to use Camera Lucida. And instead of trying to get everything exactly right, I'm actually trying to distort the image uh, to end up with an interesting effect. Anyway, thanks again for watching and I'll see you on the next one.